and welcome to Christy's Sandwich Spot. I'm Christy. Just trying to find my stuff here. Awesome. Well, hi. How? Hope everyone's having a lovely Friday. I know I'm on a bit late. I had we had a major storm come through. I thought it was gone, and then <laughs> just as I was setting up to go live, the power spiked. Um, but hopefully. Hopefully we're good to go. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn you guys down. Let's see, my title. <gasps> awesome sauce. Okay, so these are the cards that we're gonna make today, and um, we're using that gorgeous designer series paper that just came back from Celebration that I just love. Um, I'm so excited that Stampin' Up brought that back because I love it so much um it is the rings of love 12 by 12 designer series paper and that is a part of celebration which is going on into the end of this month august 31st and um so some of the things in here have already um uh, sold out but there's still quite a few things that are still available including this fabulous paper that we're going to use today and then at the end i'll show you guys uh, um the brochure Hopefully you guys have seen the, flow, the flyer that has the new, our annual and new catalog um, options. There are some really nice ones um, in there. But I love this designer series paper so much. It's so gorgeous. Um, there's so many pieces. I'm in love with this one. Um, but we're going to make um, two really easy seasonal cards that, that make this a pack of paper that is just fabulous um, for any occasion. But um, we're going to make a Christmas card and then just a nice general thinking of you with this designer series paper. I just love it so much. Okay, so the stamp set that we're going to be using to make these is actually the, is the Rings of Nature. And you can get this bundle um, in the holiday mini, our Janu July to December uh, 2020 mini catalog. And it matches that Rings of Love um, celebration designer series paper. But it's also part of a bundle. And the bundle is actually, if you've seen it, it's the hybrid. And what does that mean? I don't know if you're familiar with what a hybrid means. It usually means it means that we have a die set and an embossing folder. So I'm not actually using this part on our cards today, but I just wanted to show you as it is a bundle. And when you buy um, the stamp set with the dies, you do save 10%. So um, when it's a hybrid, it means it has a piece where you can actually um, fit your um your dies actually fit inside so you can actually emboss and die cut at the same time so that's really exciting it's very lovely i um i've done a, a several things with this one before but i did just do this card and i just used the embossing folder on um this lovely i used my watercolor wash with uh crumb cake and uh, a little soft suede and made you know on a, a piece of thick piece of white and then after it was dry I actually ran it through um, with my, this embossing folder you can see I do have a nice um, does leave a really great impression and then of course because I was making it vintage I did also distress the end you guys can see that it's just such a lovely it's a fabulous um, bundle um, and, but we're actually not using any of the dies I'm gonna fussy cut <laughs> So you can use some of these dies um, for the images here, but I just I'm going to use the images. I just wanted to show you guys that. So we're actually so we're making the uh, Merry Christmas. So this one has a Merry Christmas. It has a thinking of you. Get well soon, just for you. Happy anniversary, love and warmth. It has this these really pretty. Um, it, they, they have an embossed one too with like the acorn top. They're really pretty. And some flowers and a tree ring. And if you notice, and there's the mushrooms, that those are the images that are in that fabulous designer series paper that is a part of celebration, the rings of love. So we're actually gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to duplicate. I kind of dupli duplicated the flowers here, so you don't have to like try to die cut those out. I'll show you guys how we can stamp um, some flowers. I did fussy cut them out, but I didn't fussy cut them out from the designer series paper. I actually just used the stamp to use to make those and um so these are really simple cards and then this one's the thinking of you and i've fussy cut out um 
the tree ring and the little um, leaves and the little bird and this gorgeous paper I just love. I think this is my favorite sheet um, of paper, but and with the thinking of you. So that those are there are two cards that we're gonna make. And again, we're using this Rings of Nature designer series paper. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the Christmas card first. So this is a really kind of fun, bright um, piece of designer series paper. And it seems really busy. Um, I just really like it with it, just a little bit of this organdy ribbon. So to make this card, let's start with our first card here. You're gonna use, for the ribbon, it's the Open Weave um, Evening Evergreen. And do need some basic rhinestones. And let me get to my card pieces, which are under here. Okay, so I, you need a piece of regular basic white cardstock that we're going to stamp on for your scrap. And then we're going to need um, some, this is just an accident in case, <laughs> an accident. Uh, we're going to start with a piece of Evening Evergreen um, cardstock, and I've cut it my 8.5 by 11.5, so it's um, 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5.5, and, and that's going to be my card base. Then I cut a piece of that gorgeous designer series paper, The Rings of Love. Um, and this is a four um, by five and a, and a quarter. And I just wanted to give it a little bit extra. So you almost don't even need the other red because it's pretty um, lovely on there. But I wanted to give it just a little bit more of this poppy parade. So I went ahead and made a layer. And this layer is five and three eighths by um, five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And of course you can always do um, the uh, the lighter pink, the petal pink, I think is the color that's in here, or the daffodil, no, it's crush curry, you could have used in here as well instead of if you didn't want to bring out the poppy braid. But I just really like the way that kind of just stepped it up just a little bit to add that extra um, piece of matting. And then of course I have a piece of whisper white, or basic white to go on the inside. It is um, three and seven eighths by uh, five and one eighth, which is my, that's what I usually use for my inside. And then I did cut two strips of that same designer series paper, which is the, um, it's like a half, half inch by four. So I have two strips of that to go on the inside and the back of my card. All right, so that's all we need to get to start making this card. So we'll go ahead and set this up here. We have our, um, an example <laughs> I'm doing this and today my setup is better I actually can see the comments so hopefully I'll get to see you guys and um, daughter is saying the sound looks great which is awesome um, I'm hoping my husband had did a lovely new setup a little bit over got another piece coming <laughs> but it's so hopefully I'm, I'm really trying to keep track of where I've got my um, my project so that I'm actually in the camera because uh, I don't want it to go off off camera because it's I'm in a little slightly different place than usual. So I'm just going to glue our um, Rings of Love designer series paper right here just be onto the Poppy Parade panel. And again I like the glue because it does give me a little bit of wiggle room. And then I'm going to actually use my stamp and seal which is my favorite. Use the stamp and seal and yeah I put it basically in the middle. I don't I'm going to use this for the ribbon. And I'm doing a pretty wide, uh, a pretty wide strip of it because I actually cut two um, pieces. I'm just going to wrap around. And I don't do it side by side. So is this organdy ribbon is a little, it's thin. I wanted to give it a little bit more of a the band across. So that makes it almost about an inch. Which is such a lovely, so pretty. I like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue it down to my card base. So I'm just going to add a little bit more glue. Shoot it around there. So I hope everyone um, 
of having a safe um, Friday. So like I said, we had our storm came through. It was pretty, um, it was pretty loud, but everywhere I think across the nation's got some lots of storms. I was hoping that the um, Facebook would be good. There we go. Isn't that pretty? That it just looks so good on that evening evergreen. So pretty that color. Okay, so now that we've got our card base, now we're, let's make our um, do our images. So to make these images, we're like so we're going to use the stamp right here, and we're going to need some daubers. I've got two daubers here, and I did grab my oh other piece of paper towel. And what we're going to do is we're going to need um, you also need some scratch paper to stamp off on the poppy parade and the crush curry but also we're going to need um, two different daubers. So I'm going to, um, what we're going to do is we're going to stamp our, our image in the Poppy Parade. I'm going to stamp the image in Poppy Parade. And then I'm going to use the dauber to pull a little bit of the color out from around on a couple of places. And then I'm going to use the other dauber to add the crushed curry in the middle so that it kind of matches. Um, and as you can tell, it's not 100%, right? So we've got lighter a lighter pink which is almost like it's second it's like a stamped off of the poppy parade so um, you were gonna use the dauber to pull that ink um, so it's not even colored wise so um, it's, it looks pretty good and so we've got our and make sure you have a little bit of, of, of um, scrap paper so that you can make a couple and see how you like it and then of course you can have to cut out your favorite okay so I'm gonna go ahead the poppy parade and get that nice and inked. See, it's nice and inked. Then I'm going to take my dauber and just pull the color a little bit. Now you don't you don't want to rub it too much, like in a circle, so that um, you want it to look like a circle. Right? You want to keep it so it looks um, kind of blended. Although theirs isn't, theirs looks that it doesn't look that blended. I like it a little bit blended. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna get some of the yellow, the crushed curry in a, like a little pot right here, and use my dauber to pick this up. Now, when you do this, you're gonna transfer a little bit of the red, the poppy parade. So you want to keep it here, and then you can just use your paper towel to wipe it up so that you don't get any of that poppy parade on your um, crushed curry. Gonna add a little bit in there, and then you need because I've set so long, puff on it to reactivate the ink with your breath, and I'm just gonna stamp it, and I'm gonna add a little bit more of the yellow. I should be using my um, my Stampin' mat, which I didn't, but got that. I mean, I have a little bit of surface here, but it is better when you use your mat to um, look at that. Oh, see how pretty that is? It looks so pretty. Okay, so I'll show you it again. Let's do it again. I'm going to clean my, um, I'm cleaning it off on my chamois, and then I'm going to ink it up really good on my poppy parade. I'm going to use my dauber to pull a little bit of the color off. And then I'm going to use my the yellow crutch curry, the dauber, and count it in there. You can see I've mixed it, mixed a little bit. So it's not that much ink. Um, so you don't feel bad about wiping it off. But you, that way you, you're not contaminating, cross contaminating your colors. And then Let's add a little bit more yellow. So pretty. So you can, you know, go and do a bunch of these. Just like that. So this one I think I got a little bit too much of the yellow. Um, so it seems like it's a little more um, yellow in the middle. It's too much of the circle. I kind of like this one and I like that one. So you just mix and match, but just make sure you clean off your stamp. And let's take one more time. 
just load it up, pull off some, pulled off way too much that time, just beat it through, just choo choo choo, and add some of the yellow. Blend it in a little bit. Ooh, that's pretty. Got that one feathered really nice. I've run out of space. I had that other extra. Let's do it one more time on this one. I don't need that. Kind of mix it in. So these are fun. So and every time you do it, it'll be a little bit different. But, oh, so pretty. Okay. So that is how you do it. And then just use your um, paper towel. You don't even have to have it wet. And you can just smear that, pick up that, um, the, where you've mixed the poppy parade with your um, crushed curry. That way it doesn't, next time that you do this, you don't get that in there. And then I actually don't make, um, you can get a pack of the daubers. I think they're like $5. Um, for five and I just rinse them and use them again so and you know just check before you use it to make sure they're clean by you know just do it on a piece of scratch paper I just use these so they're clearly not clean but you can't I just rinse them clean in the water and then if it is still a little bit bad you can just add a little bit of the um, Dawn uh, laundry, a little bit of the dishwashing liquid but usually I just run it till it's clear under the water and it doesn't take long at all to clean so I like that instead of having to try <laughs> to keep them all I had like a container where I would keep all of the all of the sponges I would cut them up and do that but honestly I, I got too lazy <laughs> so I don't, I don't do that anymore okay so then just look and see which ones are your favorite and then you just we're gonna fussy cut those out these are so pretty now I put two here but you can always add more flowers if you want um, I just use two, and then just fussy cut. Actually, fussy cut all the stuff from the other one out because those are just as much as paper to fussy cut. I know. I, I love to fussy cut. <laughs> I don't know if there is. I forgot to look to see if the, there was a die that, that did this out. I don't think there was. I think it makes like extra pieces, like your, your leaves and stuff. Yeah. So it just does the. Um, the tree rings and then it has a bunch of leaves and a little mushroom and the mushroom stalks so it doesn't have a piece that cuts out um, your poinsettia but I love the fuzzy cut so I don't have a problem I'm with the fuzzy cutting I just love it but it's a fun way to kind of create this color poppy parade and of course you know if you want to do that with any of your um, colors to kind of make that ombre or mix your colors. That's a really great use of the daubers. Um, and we're like all into our um, stamping uh, our brushes, our blending brushes right now. Man, I do love, I do love our um, the daubers too. It's just kind of a fun and quick technique didn't take very long and these are not you don't have to be like super precious we're trying to cut these out they're pretty it's pretty easy to fussy cut them so we're just going to put them on top of their own but I do I do like using one that's full strength you know that's more it's a darker than and one that's lighter um, so if you want you can add I don't know I didn't cut three out you see one or two. Do -do -do. So yeah, we had a bad storm. It was raining, and the lightning was really, um, really around here. So <gasps> I was like, "Oh, I don't think I can go on." And I was running a little late too, so it worked out. So it's like that. Oh my goodness, it's so lovely. Okay, let me clean this up really quick. So that's not too bad. This is definitely something that if you're gonna watch some television. You can stamp some and then uh, st stamp a bunch and then um, be, um, I forgot how to piece up, 
cutting them out while you watch TV. He would just look like you. All right, so I'm just gonna use some um, dimensionals, and I'm just gonna put one. Mm, I probably need two on here, so I'll use two dimensionals, and this one down here. I'm gonna put that on my um, organ ribbon here, and then another one. Make sure that it's not showing. Maybe I should have cut this one in half. Cut that verse in verse. Cut my dimensional in half. Or you could use the mini dimensionals too. That will work. Just cut these ones out. There we go. They are nice. He's nice. Get this out of the way. Oh, no. I'm just putting those like right directly in the middle like that. Then I'm going to add some Wink of Stella. It'll be harder to do it at the end. Add a little bit of Wink. I need to get out a new Wink of Stella. This one's almost done. So just a little bit. I love Wink of Stella. Okay. So, did I not get that on? Oh, I did. Okay, so now I need, I definitely need another little piece to go right here so that it doesn't flop up. So, depending on how you put it on. But remember when you're putting on your images onto your ribbon, there's nothing holding your ribbon down. So I did not put seal underneath it. <laughs> so definitely use your dimensionals. Make sure you're holding it down just like that. Awesome. Okay, and then I got a piece of, I just cut a strip of, this is only, it's a half inch. Uh, for the Merry Christmas, and I'm just going to stamp it right there in, in Evening Evergreen, and let's see if we can get it, let's hook this a little bit over here, and in the camera a little bit, I'm just having to lean up a little bit, there we go, I really like the Merry Christmas in this set, it is a nice, thin Merry Christmas, If you're wanting to put it on like a, a smaller area or in a strip. You see I did two on this one little strip. So cut it. Do do do. So either one is they both turned out very nice. Very nice. Okay. So then I'm just gonna use for this one, I wanna I wanna put it just like that, but I wanna put the bow underneath. Um, kind of almost like leaves, but not leaves. So I'm just going to make a bigger bow. I know I'm making a big bow. I don't usually make big bows. I'm not. It's really hard for me. It was really hard for me to not like take that one off and make it smaller. But I love that, that where they make it where, um, where you can use it underneath your sentiment. So just got to turn it a little. Oops. Go the right direction. So just make it flat. It's flat before you pull it tight. There we go. I want to keep those. Li it's a little bit, a little bit bigger than I like. I want to keep going down and down and down, but I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. There we go. Let us see it. Yay! Okay, there we go. Oh, it's almost too big. I'm like, I have a terrible thing with big bows. I don't know why. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to have it be long. So let's start here. And like I said, I just, I, I, as you can see, I left it on the spool. I only cut the pieces when it, when I'm trying to be good. Okay, so just like that. I'm just going to put it like that. And then just, if you want, however you want your tail to go. And the bow. Doo -doo. I have it stuck out more on this side. Oh my god, I just need to flip it over. There we go. And then I'm just going to use glue dots to attach it. And then I'm going to put glue dots and a stamp dimensional on my sentiment. First, I'm going to use the glue dots to attach my bow. 
having a little bit of trouble with these glue dots. I made a, um, I didn't make a birthday card earlier and I realized I had, I put, I put it on with glue dots, but I didn't put enough glue dots on and, um, the bow fell off. <laughs> I had already put it in the envelope. I'm like, ah, what is this bow doing here? I didn't even notice. Luckily, I didn't, hadn't sent it or sealed my envelope so I could get, get it out and put more glue dots. So once you put the glue dots on, it's hard to change um, the shape of your bow. So keep that in mind. Okay, just like that. Now we're going to put dimensional on the end. It has the Mary. To the side with the Mary. On the end. And then we need a couple of these. I was having so much trouble earlier with my glue dots. I'm just going to pull them off my take a pick tool, which I love. And I'm getting them, I'm not letting them ball up too much. I'm just pulling them off lightly and it's, they are coming off nicer. So they're kind of a flat disc instead of balled up. Oh, that one balled up a little bit. See how that, that balled up? I want it to be flat. There we go. And then take that off. I had to move my trash can to the other side. Not sure if I can do it. Okay. And then cross. So it's kind of like on top of the the um, the ribbon that's wrapped around um, and over it like that. Ah, nice. Awesome. Awesome. So. Um, a little bit, I got my tail a little bit more in this time. And then if you need to, you can always, um, after you get it, like snip it at an angle so that it matches it's the right length when you've got it down. There we go. How easy and peasy is that? It's lovely. And we're done. We just need to add some um, rhinestones. I thought the basic rhinestones, we have a lot of really great ones, but basic rhinestones work really really nice for so many things. Um, I do like them. And I like that there's three sizes. That's how I use mine all the time. So depending on how you've, you've arranged your um, flowers, I just kind of tuck them in so that you can get that shine without it being like too overpowered. Maybe what I needed to have done is put this one maybe too right better? Oh yeah, I like that better. And then it should be paired and nice down there. There you go. Isn't that pretty? So lovely. And then of course, if you want more sparkle, you can always add a little bit of Wink of Stella to all your little flower centers, which is nice. Okay. And then we can just finish off um, the back and the front and the inside. In the same way, we're going to use the Merry Christmas. Stamp it directly onto the back. And then on my inside panel, which is a 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 1 eighth. So be careful you don't get the green ink everywhere. That, that evening evergreen, I actually had trouble with that earlier. Got some on my fingers. Um, I want to put this on first. Take out my glue. And again, if you don't have a a surface. I have another surface on here. It's better to use your, when you're using the photopolymer stamps, to use your, um, oops, my glue. My hand's not strong enough. Okay. Get back my trash can. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, there it goes. The problem is, is sometimes when it gets stuck like that and then you push too hard <laughs> and you get this. This goes crazy splooge, which we don't want. Okay, put that on there. So nice, so pretty. So it's a really easy um, use of this fabulous designer series paper. Um, and of course, any of your big designer series papers, you can make a full panel and use it. Makes it very easy. Um, it's a very easy kind of card, and you can make a bunch of them, which is always nice. 
We've got a big Christmas list, and you want to make your own cards. Do, do, do. Oh, I just love having that a little bit on the end. And then I forgot my um, Stampin' Up! logo. Just like that. If you're creative, you can also like stamp on the back um, too if you want. But there we go. That's our first card. It turned out really nice. Pretty easy. Just a little bit of that. And that ribbon just really looks nice. Um, and I love that this Merry Christmas is the street on top of that. It turned out really pretty. Yeah, so that is our first card. Make sure I close my ink up and cap on my glue. Okay, this way. All right. This next piece of designer series paper is actually my favorite piece of designer series paper in the rings of love and that is this gorgeous blues with the um the birds i love this i mean this is when i was like oh i must have this because i love these birds they're so pretty they're so pretty and then i'm going to use the champagne rhinestones i love the champagne rhinestones um and they're actually if you find a few um spend 50 dollars at my online store before shipping and handling i'll actually send you a free pack of these from me in your thank you card you can make an online order using this month's host code fifty dollar order okay so um like i said i've already fussy cut it out the things you guys have to watch me fussy cut more out but i'm gonna i cut a piece of this gorgeous rings of love designer series paper by four and five and a quarter and then this is a piece of that soft sea foam for the layer and again it is the five and three eighths um, by four and one eighth that layers really nice these are like my basic layers love 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 and then i started with a piece of balmy blue um cardstock and i just cut it in half it's eight and a half by 11 so it's um 11 inches by four and a quarter scored at five and a half so if you like the regular book fold which would be at um cut at eight and a half and five and a half so it's eight and a half by five and a half and then you um scored at four and a quarter I think is how that goes, yeah. Um, that's the book fold. And all of the these would work on, you could use this one too, on the book fold and have it open this way. I just really like, just really like the open fold. But if you're going to put a gift card in it, it's sometimes it's easier to have that book fold. So this will work too. Okay. So, and like I said, I fussy cut out uh, the wood ring and that's that, this gorgeous piece of paper here. Um, I think one of the dies actually works so you can cut out. I just fussy cut out um, that. And I also did the the leaves from this piece. That's where these, these leaves came from. And then the bird, I just cut another piece of that bird and I'm just going to fussy cut him out. You guys, I am going to cut him out. You could probably use a punch too if you don't like to fussy cut. Um, fussy cut. It's so hard for me not to, <laughs> to fussy cut. And then this is our silicone mat. I'm just going to add some um, stamp and seal on the leaves when I put it on. And so when I use stamp and seal on like a thing and do a, a swoosh, I just like to use my, my um, silicone mat. So that way I don't get glue all over everything. And then we're also gonna use the Label Me Fancy Punch. Um, and the one thing I'd say when you're making, doing the punches, you wanna make sure you, when you're um, stamping your sentiment, you wanna make sure that you know that, that you can get it in the right, the right way to be able to punch it out. So you know that you want it to be here. So make sure you put it down low. That'll fit in your, um, um, you can fit it into your punch when you're stamping it, when you're thinking to punch. So just keep that in mind when you're uh, doing your stem sentiment. It just, it's not as easy, it's not as much of a problem when you're doing the die cut. But when you're doing your um, punches, you need to keep aware of like the location of that stuff. So anyway, all right, so let's get this glued down. So again, just like we did with the other card, we're going to glue our panel. I love, I love this one. Oh, I wanna, I hopefully, hopefully it doesn't sell out again. I can do another project next week with that beautiful um, designer series, that side, because it just, like with the snowman, I think it'd be so pretty. 
um, or maybe the one with the mousse. Such, it's like a snowflake. So pretty. I really like it. Okay. And then I want to add, um, I'm going to use, um, this is the seam binding, the soft sea foam seam binding ribbon. Again, it's, um, it's lovely and it's very soft, but again, it is, um, it's really thin, so I really like to double it up. And so I'm going to use my soft, um, my stamp and seal again. And I'm going to put it like in the middle. So I'm going to do a pretty long strips because I want to put both um, wrap side by side. No, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> I almost tried to say the take a pick tools cast on my that one. Okay, and then I thought I cut them. Yeah, here's one. I lose the other one. It's just really light. Oh, there it is. It's very pretty. It's very nice for this. With this paper, I just love this one with these birds. Aren't they pretty? Oh, so pretty. I love this. And the thinking of you is so nice. So again, I'm just layering them um, right next to each other. Oops. Right here. Just like that. Oh, hi, Robbie. My hubby said hi. He actually came in. So I am going later than usual. There we go. Let's do this. Um, and this is really nice. Uh, you can, like, if you don't get it exactly where you want, you can just peel it back. Stamp and seal is pretty nice, giving you a little bit of wiggle room when you're using ribbon like you don't get that with paper so when you're using your paper and your seal right once it's down it's down but for some reason with ribbon it works really nice and then it holds it nice so you don't have to worry um dang i gotta hold my i'm wanting it to go like right close right close to there see do to do, do there we go go awesome that it just looks so pretty with the green okay and then I'm going to go ahead and glue it down to my balmy blue card base I got a little bit to the back of those so I was just moving this one all over the place <gasps> do it again this 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 ribbon is um well, I guess I didn't have that much trouble with it before, but I'm trying to be all precise. There we go. Make sure I didn't move it. Move it in the wrong direction before I glue it down. And then go ahead. I got glue on my on my front here. I got glue all over actually. I am making a huge mess of it. Go! Yay! Glue that away. Do. There it goes. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> All right. I had that moment of, oh no, what have I done? Okay. Lovely, 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 lovely. And I love the colors. So it definitely has some of the balmy blue, but it has lots of night of navy. Um, and so I'm going to use my night of navy for the sentiment and again I'm going to use the rings of nature and I'm going to do the thinking of you oops not blurry sorry I moved too far there we go <laughs> all right so got that mounted remember I checked to make sure you want where you want your um, to go and get it easily remember it doesn't fit exactly, right? So hopefully I didn't get it too close. Glue that off, so I stick my hands in there. I do like this label me fancy, and it does have like um, a, a, a slit that you can add for your um, ribbon, and it's got like a little hole punch piece too. Um, I haven't used it that much for that because I love this size. It does layer nice on the other our other one. Just kind of put that in there. And nice and even. 
do. Awesome. Go. As you can see, right, my head is out. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to do that. That looks nice. Fabulous. Okay. So then we're just going to build our um, card front. Yeah. Oh, the bird paper is your favorite too, Robbie? Yeah, it's totally my favorite. Love it so much. Okay, so we're going to first lay it, put some... Stamp and dimensionals on the back of our lovely fussy cutted piece of um, wood ring from the Rings of Love, and um, it's so interesting. I have I now have where I can see the um, comments, which I haven't been able to do before. But my daughter was like, "It's like thirty second delay," so we were trying to we were playing with it and trying to time it the other day to try to see exactly how long it takes. Um, so if you do a poll or something. You know, you need to wait at like uh, 30 seconds, which you don't think is a long time, but man, it can, it feels like it's a long time. Okay, so I'm going to add my, um, my little fussy cutted uh, leaves just like that on the side. And I'm going to use my um, stamp and seal for that, which is why I have my um, silicone mat there. I just want to make sure I want to put it on this side. So I'm going to hang it over a little bit. So then when you do that, and you see you've got like a little bit of the glue, just like that in the edges. And there you go. Just hanging off the edge. And we'll do the same thing for this one. This one I'm going to just kind of like that. So I can just go right up the middle. Hanging this out, just like that, and then you've got my snap that back, and then I need some dimensionals on my thinking of you. Look how pretty that is! Oh, it's so pretty. Now I did put dimensionals. No, I didn't. Actually, that it looks like I just glued it down. God, I looked again. But the reason why is I have dimensionals on um, underneath my wood ring, and then I'm going to put dimensionals underneath my bird. So if you have too many dimensionals, then there's no way you're going to fit it into your um, your card and mail it. So keep that in mind. But if you're not going to mail it, you can add as many dimensionals as you want. Stick that on there. It's so nice. Oh, love, love, love. Okay, and then I had my little piece with the bird right here. And I'm going to fussy cut him out. So pretty. I just love this piece. This part is just my favorite. Although I, I love the other one too with the um, that I got these from with the mushrooms and the leaves. I used them with the hippo. It's such a fantastic. Um, I'm going to be so sad when it's gone. Like, when we first thought it was out, I was like, oh no, there's so many fabulous things. So this is one I'm going to get, and then you should get and stock up, because it is so versatile. It's perfect for fall. This is an excellent, the, the Rings with Nature is just such a beautiful set. It's not just for Christmas or for fall. You can use it for so many different occasions um, with that nature theme. It's just gorgeous. So gorgeous. So easy, so, so it's super easy. Okay, let's see if I can make it zoom so I can show you guys better. Here we go. You see that? And then, so you definitely need a smaller. Oh, no, he's pretty fat. Check, see if it fits. Oh, yeah, no, he works good. Some of the birds are not, so some of the birds are not as fat. So you'll need to make sure that you, like, maybe cut your. Um, your dimensional in half so that it'll fit better. Or you don't want to, you just don't want your dimensional to show underneath him. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. It's so cute. So I debated whether or not I wanted to put a bow, but I have such a terrible time with this. It's very slick ribbon. And with my fingers, I have a terrible time with it. I don't know why, because it's so beautiful. Um, but doubling it up like that really gives it nice. And it just takes a little bit, right? It's just a little bit of color. And texture to break up this gorgeous paper but I didn't want to do too much because I love this paper so much I didn't want to do too much to it 
And then again, I'm going to add a little bit of Wink of Stella because I can't not add Wink of Stella. Love it. So you can do it to all of them. I'm just going to do it to the one here. And then I need the final touch is some of these fabulous, um, where did I put them? The, oh, here we go. The beautiful um, champagne rhinestones. I love the champagne rhinestones. Because they're like almost, they're not that much off of the, the regular. So you can see the regular ones, right? It has a little bit of color. But it's warm enough that you can add it to almost pink. So if you've got pinks or browns, and you probably, if you use your stamp and blend on it, you can make a really nice pink. But it's not exactly brown. Um, it goes so well with browns. It's so pretty. It's such a pretty, love, love, love these. And I actually went and added um, just two, just putting the, Three of them, putting them inside, just right to my, let's see, yeah, there we go, inside of the leaves there. So it just gives it a little bit of extra sparkle. So nice. And I use the little ones, I'm almost down to the little ones. I have like four, I have a couple more packs of this going on. This is a, a stray piece of, um, I think from last year, it's a piece of sequins. From last year, it's hitching a ride. Let's put it back there so I don't lose it. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Now let's finish it up and do the back. I said I have um, two of the strips of this designer strip of paper. Let's get rid of my extra pieces. And so it's not a very. These are not very complicated cards, but man. This designer series, people are, they just, it's so gorgeous, you should let it do all the work. Let's just do it. It's always best to let it do all the work. This one, you do need to make sure that it goes the right direction. So you don't have an upside down bird. Just got a pretty bird right there. So pretty. And then I'm just going to do the thinking of you on the back in the Knight of Navy. So pretty. And then I'll put my my Stampin' Up logo. Get rid of my Hallmark Stampin' Up. Like that. So awesome. Then let's do the inside of the inside on a piece of basic white. Again, this is um, a half inch by four. And my basic white piece is um, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth sure I've got it the right direction and the back side too I think you had to have it's got those really pretty wood um, woods the, are they like birch trees you got, but those only have one direction too and it's, I keep wanting to put the, the wrong lid on there today okay so let's get that out thinking of you again back at the top on the bottom and for a while there I was putting the sentiment down on the bottom I think that these ones are nice I love that like for hello I think that's new my new favorite is to put down there at the bottom okay and then the glue again glue this piece in I do like to use the inside piece so you probably didn't have to you with the balmy blue but I like it I think it makes it look more finished plus if I mess up um on here you um I can toss it. <laughs> it's just one piece. Piece I haven't ruined the whole, the whole thing. So I like that too, and it does give me a smaller space too, um, to write. Um, I just like it. I love having the inside in there. Look at that. So pretty. Oh my gosh, these colors are just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Love, love, love. Okay, super. This this designer series paper. Like I, I'm really sad it's not in in um, our annual catalog, although if it was, I probably, or even the holiday, I want to use it all the time. You guys would probably get super sick of it, because like I said, I used it on this one too. I just can't, I just can't get enough of it. And again, the Ring with Nature stamp set, and it does have that, and it is a hybrid um, bundle where you can buy the, the dies as well. And um, I love like this one right here. This looks so awesome, the acorn. Um, it, when you, there's like, we have that 
What's the card stock? One of the card stock. Oh, I think it's actually part of our new, on the new list of um, celebration items, our metallic uh, card stock. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice, the dark one with that for your acorn. So pretty. Oh my gosh. So that, anyway, but it has the big die that fits inside our tree rings. Embossing folder, but the embossing folder, again, looks really great even without using the dies on it. It's such a great, such a great set. Okay. So we've got Christmas, thinking of you, which is very springy, naturey, lovely, as well as Christmas. Um, and it was really easy with Daubers to try to, to make um, some flowers, the poinsettia flowers that match. That works really nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's um, Friday, Daple Do Friday double feature with the beautiful um, Rings of Nature stamp set and rings of love designer series paper let's see here if i like i mentioned we do have some new products for celebration that goes until um, august 31st um there's like the timber um, embossing folder and um i think it's the gingham i can't see from here <laughs> i didn't forgot i printed it up somewhere i don't know what i've done with it but we also have like two of the, the big card stocks this is the the really awesome metallic one and a gift box and then these beautiful dies um, that has a matching stamp set. And I think the daffodil dies. I think that's it. That, so there's three different dies you can get for the 100 and a bunch of new embossing folders. So if you haven't got those embossing folders, um, this is a great time to pick those up and use those if you don't want to use um, yours to get the Rings of Love Designer Series paper while it's here. I don't know if it'll last the whole, the whole time, but um, I love it so much. Um, also, for this month, if you order in my online store with my, um, let's see if I can get my title to come up. I don't think I have the title up. For um, when you order but using the host code in my online store. So I still have my, my fabulous Splendid Day. And Splendid Day uh, tutorial, it, it has 27 um, tutorials in both metric and imperial. And you get that for free for me um, when you, spend $50 at my online store, as well as um, the champagne rhinestones. I love these, they're so fabulous and versatile. Um, and it matches that Splendid Day, which is in the holiday catalog, the Splendid Day bundle, which is so gorgeous. It's a beautiful set. Um, but also, I have this new thing. I, um, If you notice, I've been doing a blog hop, if you follow me on my blog, with the inspiration to me. So we have, an, I have a, an August PDF, it's all about celebration. So if you spend $35 in my online store, um, you'll be getting this emailed from me to you for free. It has eight tutorials in it, um, both, both metric and imperial, and it's, it's solely on our celebration stuff. So it's a great set um, of tutorials, give you some great ideas. I get that for free from me. I love my new Inspirations and Ink group. Um, it just gets better and better. Um, as well as, don't forget, on August 10th, so about five days away, you have to get. Um, make sure you subscribe to get Paper Pumpkin so you can get those gorgeous, sweet sunflowers. Like, I'm super excited. I love last month's kit, the July kit, um, but I'm, I'm even more excited for these sunflowers. I love sunflowers. Um, so, to make sure you get this, and again, it is celebration. So, if you want to go ahead and get a prepaid code, you can, use, you can get the one month to add on to your other order to, to get up to that $50 mark. So that you can get the free um, uh, celebration and all that the goodies from me but also you can get if you get a three six or twelve month if you are already getting um, some celebration uh, paper pumpkin you can just buy the code and add it to your account um, that way you can get and earn some celebration stuff so um, it's fabulous during celebration to get more uh, have your money go even further and get that all that free stuff and now it's not just the celebration items. You can actually get those fabulous, um, choose some of those fabulous products from the annual and holiday catalog. So that's pretty awesome. All right. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed today's cards. I love, like I said, I love, love, love this bundle. So let's see if I can get my titles to work. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there slowly but surely figuring it out. Um, let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo, there's title two. So this is my host code for August. Um, so make sure you use that host code so you can get those um, gifts for me. And 
thank you guys so much. Hope you guys get to get some crafting in. At the last days, it's not summer here anymore. I mean, it's still hot and stormy like it's summer, but we our kids are back to school. Um, but hopefully you guys stay safe, and hopefully you can get some crafting in this weekend. Bye.